Right, I've got my gym kit, I've got my trainers. Now it's just time to meet the robot that I've got an appointment with. Hello. Yup, it's putting me through my paces on the treadmill. The idea here is that I'm going to be trained by AI with a spot of help from Pepper here. This Bristol Robotics Lab trial aims to teach a robot the empathy and motivational skills of a human personal trainer. OK, I'm not quite sure what it's got in store for me. Think about getting ready to start running. Speed up now and run for one minute. Along with reacting to participants' heart rate data and facial expressions, whilst they try to build up to running 5K, it considers personality type in its quest to perfect its patter. But that robot, to begin with, knows nothing. And then Don, our fitness instructor, he tells the robot in real time, right, now it's time to have a joke, or now it's time to sympathise, or now it's time to challenge. And every time he does that, the robot learns from that example. So after a few sessions, the robot then starts suggesting things. The estimated speed of the T-Rex is 27 miles per hour. I can't go as fast as that. I had to write what kind of behaviours the, the ideal robotic personal trainer should, should have, yet still keeping that as simplistic as possible for the, the roboticists and coders to implement. It's quite unnerving when it leans forward. I feel like I'm in trouble. The key human aspects in psychology go into analysing what that client needs at a given time. Ten people took part in the trial, some totally at ease with the concept. On the day of a, of a session, I'd be thinking, OK, well, Pepper's standing there waiting for me. It's kind of, the longer you do this, the kind of you, get more, you, more, you get used to it a lot more. And in, in, probably if I was to run on a treadmill now, I'd be thinking, where's the robot? They didn't just see it as a tool, as an object. It wasn't just a robot. Each of them developed, uh, I would say, a relationship. They would talk to it in different ways. The bot could be trained by different people, giving it different personalities and styles. But the general idea is that the gym of the future could be a very different place. Nice work. We're done for today. Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, maybe not. <laughs>